this new section in where we are going to start playing with programming language. Before start learning ArcPy programming for ArcGIS, definitely we need to learn first of all the basic Python programming language. Without this, we can't write the script of ArcPy. And uh, many of us may be scared to start learning a programming language in a new software interface. That is why I am going to use this ArcMap Python window for our basic Python programming script writing. Why? Because all of us already familiar with this ArcMap. So I think this interface will make you comfortable to learning the basic programming of Python also. That is why I am not going to use the main Python software for Python programming. We can do this also inside this ArcMap Python window. So don't worry about it. First of all, we need to learn the basic tips to start any programming language. Either it is Python or either it is another programming like PHP, MySQL, Ajax. All of this programming language has a basic steps and basic tips. First of all, you need to think what you need to do. Based on your thinking, you need to give the instruction to the programming language by using the line of statement, the line of script. So the basic tip is, first of all, you need to think what you want to do, then convert your this thinking language to the programming language you are using. Let's use a notepad to make you clear about this. First of all, you need to think what you need to do actually. Thinking language. Then convert your thinking language to programming language. Let's use an example. Let's make it more clear by using a calculation. Say my thinking language is the value of a is 1 and the value of B is 2. The value of C is the summation of A and B. Then, what is the value of C actually? So this is my thinking language. My thinking language is the value of A is 1 and the value of B is 2. In other hand, the value of C is the summation of A and B. Then what is the value of C actually? Yes, we already have used this example in our previous lectures this is our thinking language we need to convert our this thinking language as a programming language in here our programming language is python it is the similar example of uh, converting any country language to other countries language like uh, english to bangla hindi to english same as like this we need to convert our thinking language to programming language first of all the value of a is equal to 1. In programming language, we need to give the instruction based on our thinking language. And the instruction will be line by line statement, line by line script writing. So the, our first instruction will be a is equal to 1. We are telling Python programming language, consider the value of a is equal to 1. And in here, we need to use this language, a is equal to 1, which is very easy in Python language. Then our next instruction will be b is equal to 2. Then our third statement, our third instruction to our programming language will be c is equal to a plus b. Don't forget to use this space. In programming language, space means a lot. So this is our programming language based on our this thinking language. And in here, we are using 
line of statements to give the instruction to our programming language. Now, this programming language we are going to use in our Python programming. Say, first of all, we need to give instruction to our Python language a is equal to 1. This is our first line of instruction. It is very easy in Python language. If we use another language like PHP or Ajax, we have to use uh, semicomma, double quotation, dollar sign, and many more. But in Python language, it is very easy, almost similar with thinking language. All we need to do is just write a is equal to 1, nothing else. In another language, we need to use dollar sign, semicomma, variable sign, and many more. But in Python language, we just need to use a is equal to 1, same as like thinking language. So this is our first instruction to Python language, a is equal to 1. Then our second instruction, our second line of statement will be b is equal to 2. Then our third instruction to the programming language is c is equal to a plus b. c is equal to a plus b. Now here we want to count the result of c. Then what is the value of c actually? In our fourth instruction, we are going to tell Python programming language what is the actual value of c. We need to convert this thinking language as programming language. What we need to write in this step? We just need to write c. Then press enter. It will show us result. It is very simple. So it is more easier than our thinking language, is not it? We was thinking the value of a is 1 and the value of b is 2. The value of c is the summation of a and b. Then what is the actual value of c? And it seems in programming language, it is more easier than our thinking language, is not it? So don't be scared about any programming language. And in Python programming, it is more easier than another programming. Let me show you in another programming language for this case study to make you more comfortable say in PHP programming what we need to do you don't need to open any Dreamweaver you don't need to use any PHP just watch this PHP code I am using this PHP code to make you understand you don't need to use any PHP language you don't need to install any Dreamweaver software just watch this I'm going to use this only to make you comfortable to make you understand what we are going to write the same case in PHP programming say in here for PHP programming first of all we need to start the code with let's clear all of this make it more easier first of all we need to start this PHP then we need to finish this with this sign inside of this we need to write the code and let's see in our python programming have we used any type of this sign no we just have written our script that is enough for us in python programming say in php programming if we want to write this script say a is equal to 1 we can write this as easier like python programming in here we need to use dollar sign a is equal to 1 then we need to use semicomma then we need to start another statement another line of instruction say dollar b is equal to 2 then dollar c is equal to dollar a plus dollar d then semicomma again so in this way we need to write the script in php now let's compare with this code with our this simple code of python is not it more easier than another programming language as i already have said in my previous lecture python programming is more easier than another programming language so it is easy to learn rather than another programming language so don't be scared with this python programming to start learning programming language just Remember these simple tips to start learning any programming language. Convert your thinking language 
to this particular programming language and based on this create the line of statement to give the instruction to this particular programming language each line is defined as each instruction each statement which we use to give the instruction to that programming language do this task for me saying here we have said to python programming consider a is equal to b please python consider b is equal to 2 then consider c is equal to a plus b and finally we say python show me the result of c just simply typing c now let's play with this in your rpap python window and see the magic don't use this dreamweaver or php i have used this only to make you understand so you don't need to use this dreamweaver you don't need to install any dreamweaver or php in our next lecture we are going to the deep of this programming language say indentation variables comments and much more now play with this in the field of arcmap python window and enjoy programming